Hi all, I am back with a new video. I uh, actually read four books since last time. I've been a little bit busy. I lost my phone and I'm doing these videos with my phone. So yeah, I'm a little bit behind with videos, but I hope it will soon catch up. I wasn't uh, behind on my reading. I kept reading, like I said, I have right now four books that I read that I haven't talked about. So I'm going to do two this time and the other two next time and we're gonna keep going so this time uh, i have a very very lovely book anne of green gables by ellen montgomery it's a canadian classic literature my first canadian literature that i ever read and oh my god i love this book it's become one of my favorites it was so lovely to read um it's a children's story and that's why i was very like surprised on how much i actually liked it and it's very easily written there is like the text is rather big so you even though it's quite a big book you get through it fairly fast and also the language is uh is easy and every single chapter starts with a little little drawing on the top i like that just as a little it's not illustrated otherwise um but yeah so anne of green gables i really loved it anne is so precious and you follow Anne and uh, how she comes to Green Gables and her adventures and in particular her imagination and that was just so beautiful. I just loved it so much that like she would really remind me myself of what it is to be a child and look at the garden but not just see a garden like to see you know possibilities and uh, and just the beauty in almost everything that was just like such an eye open like yeah like these were the things that we used to see when we were uh, young and kids and uh, unburdened and it was so refreshing it was so heartwarming it was so lovely i really 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 enjoyed it it's like i i do like i highly recommend it even though it's a book for children it's it's so good for us all as well it's heartwarming it's uh it's also fun to like if you have kids for example i don't by the way but, but like to 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 see into the uh, mind of a child and uh, be reminded on how that is on how things are like yeah more simple and like and she does i'm not gonna really spoil anything but like she, she does a lot of mischief but she doesn't mean to it just constantly happens she's like well my mind just drifted <laughs> And it's like, it's, uh, it was so precious. It was so lovely. I, I loved it so, so, so much. I give it four stars and good treat. I would have given it five stars, I think, because just one complaint, it's not, like I said, actually you read through it very fast and very easily, but the size of the book scared me away from it. So now I wish I would have read it earlier. So if it just had been a little bit smaller, I think I would have probably um, tackled it earlier. So that's really my only complaint so not the length of the story because actually i thought it was perfectly long when i finally read it but the book scared me for a while and uh, i was like a classic that's uh, so many pages it, it was yeah it was intriguing um in not a good way it's almost 500 pages um so that's my only complaint really make it look thinner or something i don't know but uh in the end um so if you're scared if you think no uh that's that's too much trust me you go through it so fast and also the chapter length is very nice uh it's easy to read the language though it's a classic is also easy uh to read because it's written for children and uh, yeah and it's so so many lovely short stories about Anne and what's happened and you do get a whole chronological order and everything tying together so it's not just short stories um yeah so that's Anne of Green Gables uh, by Ellen Montgomery so highly recommend it and the other book that I read after uh, Anne of Green Gables is First Love and now comes the name that I probably will misspell, and I'm sorry, Ivan Sergeyevich Turgenev. You can see it down here. I hope it focuses. I think so. So, First Love, also a classic. Um, and it was a lovely story, so there's not much to say because it's such a, a tiny book and tiny story. Um, but basically, you follow Vladimir Petrovich and how he tells the story of his first love 
and uh, it's it's uh, interesting at first i thought oh this is maybe like very easily predictable because there's this girl that moved to town and everyone's in love with her and he's shy but he's also like very soon smitten with her and i was just like yeah and in the end he's the one that's gonna get her so i don't want to spoil anything but all i'm gonna say is there was a huge twist <laughs> at the end and i was like what and uh, in particular also how certain characters react to the twist i was like again uh wasn't what i suspected uh so i was like huh and that was really cool in such a short story to like to be able to do that so i really enjoyed it, it was it was very interesting um and also a first time reading a russian novel uh obviously i read it in english um so yeah that was a uh, that was very interesting uh, and uh, I can recommend this little story. It was like, like I said, something different and it's very, very tiny. The chapters are short, some chapters are like two or three pages. So that also helped like, cause you're like, oh, okay, one more, one more. <laughs> and you just keep going. Um, so that's first love. Uh, and that will be it for today's video. So it's a shorter one. Um, I'm actually starting to do two videos now for each of these reviews. I'm going to do one for my Instagram and one for my YouTube. This is the YouTube one. Uh, the reason being that Instagram is just behaving weird with the longer video. So I'm making a tiny, tiny video uh, for Instagram. And then now this one being the longer one, despite this particular one being very short. Um, but I don't want to do more than two books just now. Um, maybe three. But because I had four, I thought two and two is is kind of perfect uh, to split it otherwise i would have done three i guess like i do when i go back chronologically to books i've read uh, earlier this year uh, which i will also keep on doing um like i said i'm catching up a little bit but right now also uh, that i read the other two books i'm back to reading through <laughs> a storm of sorts um because uh, i'm still i'm waiting for my next books uh, i bought new books but they haven't arrived yet but I did that intentionally so that I would keep going in the storm resource because I don't want it to stand still, so to speak. So that's also still happening. Um, but anyhow, so in these longer videos, I am considering doing spoiler reviews. But at the same time, I'm not sure because myself, I really like to watch reviews of books that I might want to buy. <laughs> so I like to not be spoiled. So for now, I'm going to keep them spoiler free as I have done. Uh, and maybe one day there's one thing that burns me to, to talk about in spoiler territory and then I'll just do it. I don't know. We'll see. So that's a little update on me as well. Um, thanks for watching and yeah, I'll, I'll keep this up and I hope you enjoy. See ya! Thank you.